Let's take a look what's happening weather-wise. We've got some good news and bad news. The not-so-good news is that we're going to get gusty offshore winds tomorrow as the atmosphere gets squeezed over from between this big area of high pressure over the Pacific and a storm system dropping down into the Great Basin too far away to send any hint of moisture towards the Bay Area. But the pinch on the atmosphere in between those two features is going to produce those gusty offshore winds. The big picture rearranges itself a little bit as we head into the weekend. A storm system is going to send most of its energy, most of its moisture towards the Pacific Northwest, but it's going to be close enough by set late Saturday and into Saturday night to send a chance of showers into at least half of the Bay Area. Let's talk about the winds. The wind advisory goes into effect at midnight, continues through 10 a.m. Thursday for the North Bay Mountains, the East Bay Hills, and the Diablo Range. Let's talk about specific wind speeds. It's gusty out there right now, mainly along the coast. Strong onshore winds cooling temperatures off across the Bay Area after we warmed up nicely inland. Let's wind the clock forward to midnight when that wind advisory goes into effect. The wind speeds really aren't going to be that strong even in the North Bay, but the direction is going to be changing, becoming northerly, that offshore wind kicking in, and the winds really accelerate as we head towards sunrise tomorrow morning. Some 35 to 45 mile an hour wind gusts in the North Bay, and those stronger wind gusts are going to sweep across the Bay Area as we head through tomorrow morning. The wind advisory expires at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're still going to get 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts for parts of the North Bay. Other inland parts of the Bay Area, mostly 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts, a little bit stronger as you go up in elevation. The wind is still going to be noticeable. It's going to be a breezy day, but the wind not as strong as we head into tomorrow afternoon and evening. Then once the sun goes down, the wind really calms down almost completely as we head towards about 11 o'clock Thursday evening. So the good news is that the lowest humidity values and the strongest winds aren't going to overlap. When the wind advisory expires at 10 a.m., we're still going to have humidities in the 15 to 20 percent range. That's not great, but the lowest humidity is going to kick in during the afternoon, down to around 10 percent. So the fact that those are separated by just a little bit is going to help somewhat with the fire threat. It's still going to be an elevated wildfire threat, especially considering it's the month of March, but it could be worse. We don't want those strongest winds and the lowest humidity levels to directly overlap. Lap. Temperatures today topped out well, all over the place. Mid to upper 50s for Pacifica and San Francisco, into the 60s for Fremont and San Jose, and up into the low 70s for Concord and Santa Rosa. Right now, temperatures are in a mix of 50s and 60s, but later on tonight, we're going to drop down into mostly the 40s, the very chilliest spots dropping down into the upper 30s and some of the sheltered spots where the wind can't stir the atmosphere around. We're going to warm up tomorrow, even along the coast, with that offshore wind reducing the marine influence. Low 60s right along the coast, with upper 60s for the South Bay and into the Santa Clara Valley. Mid to upper 60s for inland parts of the East Bay. Not a whole lot of variation. Everybody between 64 and 68. It's going to be a very well-stirred air mass thanks to those gusty winds. So mid-60s in San Francisco, mid to upper 60s for Oakland and the East Bay, and upper 60s close to 70 degrees for most of the North Bay. Best chance of hitting or exceeding 70 degrees It's going to be in northern Sonoma County. Our temperatures warm up a little bit inland on Friday with lighter winds for the end of the work week. Increasing clouds on Saturday. Then we have a chance of showers paying us a visit Saturday night into Sunday, basically from San Francisco and Oakland northward. Inland, the East Bay, and the San, uh, then around San Jose, you're not going to get that first chance of showers, but everybody has a better chance late Monday into Tuesday. That looks like that system might have a little bit more substantial moisture, so 